Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo of my latest uh, monthly stats tracker. So this is actually a version 2 of my previous design. So the previous design actually looks like this. It's rather simple but also visually attractive and easy to use. In my latest design, I have incorporated some of the feedback from my existing buyers so we could make this a better template for everyone to use. So first of all, we have um, title and also company logo added here. So you can change this into your company name or your client name if you are a social media manager. And you can also change the title of this template. And we also added a few settings over here you can see. So this will make this template easier to modify. So for example, in my previous template, one of the problem is that when the client want to change this header, maybe they just need six months or maybe they need it for next year or starting from middle of the year. So they will want to change it. But if they want to change that, it's going to be time consuming for them to edit it one by one. So in my latest design, you can key in the start year of your tracker. So for example, I'm keying in 2024 here, but you can change it to 2023. And here, after you change it, you can notice that our header here for each platform has changed accordingly. And you can also define which month you want to start. For example, now it's January. You can also start from the middle of the year, which is June. So once I change that, you can see that every header is being updated. And similarly, this works for the end year and end month. So for example, now we have it until 2027. So we can check this is until 2027, December. So if let's say we just want to keep it a year, for example, we can key in 2024 and for the month, we can change it to maybe May. And if we check, you can see that it's until May only. And for the month format, you can also define it. So here I have a few common formats for you. So for example, now I'm selecting a uh, month and without any symbol followed by four digit year. So you can change it to two digit year with a hyphen or without hyphen. Or you can change it to four digit year with hyphen. Or if you want just numbers. And if you need other format other than this one, you may want to email me and I'll help you with that. So now I'm just going to keep it as the original one that I've selected. So you can see that once I select this format, everything here will be changed and this makes the editing much easier. And following by that, we have the trend line color. So this is defining all the trend lines here. So what you can do is to change this color if you want, else you just leave it as it is. For now, this is a hex code of um, this color that I've selected. You can also change it to uh, maybe if you want red, you can also enter red here. So it will change accordingly. And later on, I will also link um, this tutorial to this cell so that you can refer it um, if you need. So now we can start to use, but before that, remember just now we left this uh, selection. So this is actually um, a highlighter. So you can see here, this is actually um, going to help us to highlight the cells of the current month. And this is going to be used to calculate the growth rate as well. So let's say if I select August and you can see that this row is being highlighted and the numbers will be bolded so you can see it more clearly and the numbers of the growth rate is being generated as well along with the symbol of up and down 
to show you the trend. So this is actually generated based on the numbers that we key in here. And you can see that um, with some sample data, you can already see the data here being populated. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in more data so you can see. For example, I'm going to add 10 for the articles published and you can see the trend line will be adjusted based on that. While the growth rate will remain um, constant because we haven't changed the current year month. And I'm going to go ahead and key in more thing for this um, section. So you can see that now the trend line will be changed after I adding the metrics. And now I'm going to current month to November since it's the current month. So I'm going to select November and you can see that growth rate will be adjusted based on what I have key in as compared to October. So that's how we use it. And so if you are a social media manager and you want to put some remarks for a client and explain why the numbers goes up and or why the number goes down in a very specific month. So you can do it in this box. So for example, down due to problem with domain, something like this, if you want to take note of what's happening that month. Or another way is that you can use the comment. So just right click and click comment and you can state the problem or maybe you can add in for November. This is the problem and if the client has read it and they can mark it as resolved, if they want to explain or they want to discuss with you more on this one, they can also add in their comment here. So this will help to facilitate the communication between you and your client. So in this template, I have shown you how to edit, uh, add in the metrics and also how the metrics here will change based on what you have key in. And if you wish, you can also change the title here. For example, instead of articles published, maybe you want to say articles written. And maybe you also want to add a row for articles updated articles sorry publish so you can also do that and add in um, the data as you wish so what you can do here is to just drag down this line and it's okay if you have encountered this so you can also choose don't show this again for five minutes if you know what you're doing so just click ok and you'll see the changes being updated and you can also drag down this formula for this and that's how you add a new metric for this section if you want to remove certain metrics you can just select the entire row and right click and then select delete row so this won't affect others areas of this tracker it's very safe to delete this row in this template i have given you um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten platforms so you can use it as it is or you can also modify uh, the header so that it, maybe you are not using youtube and you are using other platform you can replace it with it and you can also change the icon here so to upload an icon, you can click insert and go to image and click insert an image in a cell. And now you can choose a file to upload. And after that, you can have this logo over here. So I think that's all that I want to share in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or send me a dm in my instagram and i'll reply to your question so if you want to get this template for your set tracking to make the process more easier and fun to do 
I will put the link in the description below when it's ready in my store. For now, you can follow my Instagram so that you will get notified when this is up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.